you're looking for a good book, well, look no further. A beloved New York City bookshop is on to a new chapter thanks to the help of Broadway's biggest stars. I first met um, one of the most important collaborators of my life, Tommy Kale, in the basement of the drama bookshop. And it was our home for the next few years. And basically, In the Heights was incubated there. Being at the bookshop is inextricable from my existence in New York City. I went there four or five, maybe six days a week, pretty much, you know, for four or five years of my life. That's where Freestyle of Supreme started in that little basement. When it became clear that the drama bookshop was not going to survive the next rent hike, Tommy and I, on the other side of the success of Hamilton, kind of looked at each other and said, this is the place that nurtured us uh, when we didn't have much. I think I felt indebted to the shop. I think I felt like it believed in me when very few people believed in me. When they decided to purchase the drama bookshop, they came to me to um, see if I wanted to design it and create the space. I had this idea about making some form of architecture out of books. So we made this big, huge, epic reading list, a literal timeline of all of the books that had been printed 2,490 years of theater history. We recreated two of George Washington's chairs that he sits in during the rap battles in Hamilton the Musical. What was so inspiring about working in the bookshop, which was if I ever felt stuck, I would just go upstairs and the greatest thousand years of drama and literature were available to me for inspiration. The theater is such a transient and ever-changing place and you don't really have a spot where you can put your bags down and just be. And the bookshop was that for thousands of us. Really one of my um, true hopes and dreams for the place is that like the future Lin-Manuel Miranda and Tommy Kales will come here and have those fruitful and inspired conversations. So many chapters of my life are bound up in the drama bookshop and I can't wait to see the chapters in so many theater artists' lives that will, will come out of meeting in that space. I think that you can just feel it. You can see it in the eyes of people that walk in. They kind of like, they're ready to wake up. The city is waking up and the bookshop is here for them. That just made me so happy. Yeah. I remember, we remember when that happened, we were here in New York yep. and I heard he was buying a bookstore and I didn't know a whole lot about it. Yep. And it was wonderful he did, it was worth saving. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.